This is Lemmy with RevZilla, here to talk to you today about why modern exhausts have gotten so darn huge in today's two-minute lesson. There's three main reasons we're seeing just a simple growth of exhaust on motorcycles, and the first has to do, pretty obviously, with sound. I mean, at its core, an exhaust's job is to help keep the sound of your motorcycle down. Take this puppy, for instance. This is a muffler off a current Harley touring bike, 24 inches long, and there's two of them. This is four feet of muffler. This is like enough muffler for a car. But engines and motorcycles keep growing bigger and bigger as people crave more power, and the compression ratios keep going up as well. That means that we have bigger and bigger explosions that are louder and louder, and bigger mufflers do a good job keeping things quiet. Now, the other reason, too, that we're also seeing growth in exhaust has to do with keeping things clean. So if we look over here, you can see an exhaust off a Yamaha XSR 900. Now, that bike is a fairly short wheelbase, so four feet of tube on there doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Instead, what Yamaha chose to do is sort of wrap some of that tube around serpentine style. And there's also a chamber here that tube sort of lives in, and there's also a catalyst in here. Now, catalytic elements, again, don't always lend themselves well to simply a small, narrow pipe. So sometimes the substrate that the catalyst is actually carried in fits better into sort of a box, a chamber, if you will. Now, just because it works well doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to be small. So you can see the size of this box is fairly large, what Yamaha does is sort of tucks this up under the bike to make it less visually offensive. Now, the final reason that you're probably also going to see exhaust generally trending towards being a little larger has to do with making power. Now, if you look at this muffler you can see in front of me, we've got a Kawasaki Z1000 muffler here. Now, there's an exhaust valve on this puppy, and that takes up a little bit of real estate here. Now, that exhaust valve does have something to do with emissions, but the other thing it does, too, is allows Kawasaki to sort of tune the power of that motorcycle to be what them and what their customers wind up expecting. By sort of varying the exhaust outlet size, it lets them control exactly how torque and power characteristics affect the motorcycle. Now, of course, keep in mind here too, the one thing we haven't talked about is that cost plays into the factor here too. Of course, obviously all this stuff can be done better, but the bikes might be prohibitively expensive. So at this point, you should have a little better idea of some of the challenges and goals that engineers are facing when they're making a modern motorcycle exhaust. Be sure you tune in and subscribe to us so you can catch all of our two-minute lessons as well as some of the other cool videos we're making here at RevZilla.com. I'm Len. I'm out of here.